The following video includes a dramatization of hand washing and gloving. Any products referred to are for demonstration purposes only. In addition to following these procedures, support staff also need to incorporate into their daily practice the universal precautions requirements contained in the Department of Social Service Community Care Licensing Regulations and requirements contained in Cal OSHA regulations relating to bloodborne pathogens. Your personal hygiene is an important part of your personal protection and the protection of those in your care. Protecting yourself and others from disease transmission requires that you follow some basic practices. These include, among other requirements, washing your hands thoroughly and using protective gloves correctly. Hi, I'm Jean, and today we will review a demonstration of how to thoroughly wash your hands and how to remove disposable gloves correctly. We'll start first with hand washing. By washing your hands frequently, you wash away many disease-causing germs that you might have picked up from other individuals or from contaminated objects. To begin, wet your hands with water and apply liquid soap. Rub your hands vigorously for at least 15 seconds, covering all surfaces of the hands and fingers. You may use your fingernails to thoroughly clean your palms. Be sure to scrub between your fingers and to wash all the way up to your wrists. Then rinse your hands with water and dry your hands thoroughly with a paper towel. Turn off the faucet using the paper towel. If soap and water are not available, use a commercial antibacterial product such as an alcohol-based hand rub. However, if you use this type of product, you must wash your hands with soap and water as soon as possible. Now let's take a look at the use of disposable gloves. Disposable gloves in latex, nitrile, or vinyl should always be worn. In general, jewelry should not be worn where the potential for risk of exposure exists. And remember, never touch other surfaces, individuals, or personal items when wearing soiled gloves. Disposable gloves in latex, nitrile, or vinyl should always be worn when there is a possibility you could contact blood or other potentially infectious materials directly or indirectly. Wearing gloves minimizes exposure. When removing gloves, partially remove the first glove by pinching the glove at the wrist, being careful to touch only the glove's outside surface. Pull the glove toward the fingertips without completely removing it. The glove is now inside out. Remove the second glove by pinching the exterior of the second glove with the partially gloved hand. Then pull the second glove toward the fingertips until it is inside out. Then remove it completely. Finish removing both gloves by grasping them with your free hand. Touch only the clean interior surface of the glove. After removing both gloves, discard them in an appropriate container and wash your hands thoroughly. Let's see it again. Remember, the objective is to remove the gloves without touching the outside of either glove. After removing both gloves, discard them in an appropriate container and wash your hands thoroughly. Your personal hygiene is an important part of your personal protection and the protection of those in your care. Protect yourself and others from disease transmission by following these basic practices of thoroughly washing your hands and using protective gloves correctly.